Hello, welcome to the Marginal Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. You want to know if your PC is hacked. We're going to talk about that in this video. So without further ado, let's go right into it. We're going dark. So here are some key ways to check if your PC has been hacked. You can check the task manager. Open task manager. You can, you can, you, you're going to want to hit the control plus shift plus escape. Go to the processes tab and look for any suspicious or unfamiliar processes running. Uh, use the command prompt, right? That's another one. We're going to, I'm, I'm hitting you guys rapid fire with these, right? So you can also use the command prompt, right? Run commands like net stat, right? And the, you know, the hyphen anode to check for established connections to unknown IP addresses. Use task list to view running processes. You know, check startup programs in task manager. Go to the startup tab. Look for any suspicious programs set to run at startup, especially those without a publisher name. Monitor network activity. Look for unusually high network usage when you're not actively using the internet. Check for unfamiliar outgoing connections. Look for suspicious behavior. You know, when it comes to unexpected pop up, uh, you know, the unexpected pop ups or ads, browser toolbars you didn't install, you know, search redirection, slow computer performance, unfamiliar programs, you know, installed. Check important accounts, right? Review your email, social media, and other important accounts for any suspicious activity or logins. Use antivirus and, you know, anti malware scans. Run full system scams with up to date security software, right? Run full system scans with up-to-date security software check your systems logs right review windows event viewer for any you know suspicious entries use advanced forensic tools tools like process monitor from sys internal suite can provide detailed system activity logs you know also look for changes to system settings right check if remote access has been enabled without your knowledge so you know if you suspect your computer has been compromised it's often safest to back up important files and perform clean, you know, perform a, you know, perform a clean uh, reinstall of operating systems, right? But before I proceed, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you like this, you know, what I just said, if you learned something new, if you actually found the solution as far as what I just said, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. So what are the signs, right? We know what to do if, you know, how can we check, but what are the signs? What precedes that? Right? What are the signs that, you know, your computer, you know, is hacked? So some of the signs are unexpected software or applications that appear that you didn't install, unusual disk or network activity, you know, when you're not actively using the computer, friends and contacts receive strange messages from your accounts that you didn't send, your passwords suddenly stop working or get changed without your knowledge, you see unwanted browser toolbars, search redirections, or pop-up ads. Your antivirus program or other security tools get disabled without your action. Your computer runs unusually slow or crashes frequently. You notice, you notice strange cursor movements or applications opening on their own. Your webcam light turns on unexpectedly. That, you know, what I would recommend in that, guys, you know what I'm saying? Please let me know in your, you know, what's your thoughts. I, I think you should just put a blackout marker and just black out the, the webcam or put tape. But let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the in the chat below or the comment section below, okay? Now, uh, you're, 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 th th there's a whole bunch of things, right? There's a whole bunch of things that, uh, that happens, right? Uh, you also see unfamiliar outgoing network connections or traffic patterns. Files or emails go missing or appear that you didn't create. You receive ransomware messages or other obvious hacking notifications. You know what I'm saying? So, so th those are some of the things. If you if you strongly suspect your computer is hacked, it's often safest to back up important files. I'm gonna say that again. Back up important files and perform a clean reinstall of the operating system. Right. Also, you should change passwords for important accounts from a different or trusted service, right? You're going to want to use things like password managers, guys. Password managers are the rage. You don't even have to worry about, you know, you don't even have to, <laughs> you don't have to worry about remembering a password or this and that. Password managers are going, are they're, they're, they're easy and, and they make your password so complex, a hacker wouldn't even try. A hacker wouldn't even try of even getting to it. So how can you prevent your computer from being hacked in the future? If it was right, you want to keep your operating system and software up to date, enable automatic updates whenever possible. 
Use strong, unique passwords for all your accounts. Consider using a password manager to help generate and store complex passwords. Install reputable antivirus slash anti-malware software and keep it updated. Run regular scans of your system. Be cautious about opening email attachments or clicking on links, especially from unknown senders. Only download software from official trusted sources. Use a firewall to monitor and control network traffic. Be wary of pop-ups, right? You're going to want to be wary of pop-ups. Be wary of pop-ups, guys. Don't don't just don't just don't just out there be clicking everything, guys. Don't be out here just clicking everything, guys. Be wary of pop-ups and suspicious websites, right? Avoid clicking on random ads or links. Use two-factor authentication for important accounts when available. Encrypt your data and, you know, use a VPN when on public Wi-Fi networks. Be careful about what information you share online on social media. Back up your data regularly to an external drive or cloud storage. Disable remote access features when not needed. Use secure browsers and keep them updated. Educate yourself you know, about common phishing and social engineering tactics. Consider using security software that you know includes additional protections like a password manager, VPN, etc. Right? So implementing these practices, you can significantly reduce your risk of being hacked, what I just talked about, right? However, no security measure is perfect. So always remain vigilant and keep your security tools and knowledge up to date. Okay. Anybody who tells you that anything is unhackable or whatever, don't don't look. Nothing is unhackable, okay? Nothing is unhackable. So, uh, what are the best antivirus software options for your home use? I strongly feel like if you have an, a strong antivirus software, nobody can stop you. So, uh, Bitdefender Antivirus Plus, you know, that's consistently rated as one of the top antivirus programs. It offers excellent malware protection and is a you know good set of extra features at an affordable price. You have the Norton 360 Deluxe. It provides comprehensive protection with features like a password manager, VPN, and identity theft monitoring. It's good for families wanting to protect multiple devices. There's the McAfee Total Protection. It's a good option for you know protecting multiple devices across different platforms, and it offers identity theft protection at a VPN. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is more towards home use, right? This is not for large organizations. This is for your home use. Um, you have the Asset Nod32 Antivirus, which is lightweight antivirus with minimal system impact and good malware detection. Guys, also let me know what you think about Casper Sky, right? I don't even want to talk about Casper Sky because we know what happened to them in the news. You know, they got banned in so many areas. But do you guys think that Casper Sky is still worth having as an antivirus solution? Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, there's a Malware Bytes Premium, it's strong malware removal capabilities, though. You know not as fully featured as some other options you have windows defender you know it's basically you know it has the built-in antivirus for windows 10 slash 11 and has improved significantly and now offers solid protection for free uh you know you have a vast one which is offers a you know a good free version and paid tiers with additional features like a vpn some of the key features to consider when choosing you have the level of protection against malware ransomware phishing etc there's the impact on system performance right there's extra features like a vpn password manager and parental controls the number of devices are covered right and the price and value for the money so for home users options like bitdefender norton or uh, you know, uh, what, what, what you want, Asset Nod32, right? Uh, tend to offer a good balance of strong protection and useful features at a reasonable price or prices. Windows Defender is also a solid free option for basic protection, right? So if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, you, you, you want to, you know, exercise that option. So that is what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you like the information the information that I talked about, if you if you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, if you're going to implement it, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Also, hit that notification bell so you know, uh, you know, what, 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 you know, whenever I upload something, it's, it's going to come right to your screen, right? You're going to know when I upload something. I also want to know your opinions about this. What did you like? What did you didn't like? You know, so I, 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 let's get that conversation started. So uh, stay safe. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.